Doc Nomad Productions is the name of the channel. I'm your host, DA. On this episode of the Nomad Cast, I'm going to show you a step by step process by the numbers on how to fry award winning catfish. Did he just say award winning catfish? Award winning catfish, ladies and gentlemen. You follow this no fail method. You cannot fail. Follow it to a T. Stay tuned, stay locked. Enjoy the episode. Trust and believe. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Mr. Anderson, commonly known as DA. And I'm here to take you on a step-by-step, -step, by the numbers method of frying catfish from its rawest, most purest form to the culminating event when it's fried, dyed, laid to the side. Let's go ahead and get started. Step one, which is the most important step. You say, why is it the most important step? Because it involves your health and your livelihood, quality of life. You have to wash your meats, right? With this fish, you have to wash it. Get inside the gills and all that. Now fish, the natural texture of fish is very slimy, right? Make sure you get the tail. You wash all that slimy, whatever was in the water, the lake, the river and all that, get all that off of it, right? Then you wanna lay it. Now it's the reason why I'm putting it on the cutting board because the next step, I'm gonna actually cut the fish. Stay tuned for the next step. You wanna dry off the fish, because remember, we just washed the fish, right? So dry it off, get all that in there. And what's gonna happen, this is a prelude. We're gonna start cutting the fish. And I'm gonna give you the reason why it's important to cut the fish. So, what I, so you may ask yourself, why are you uh, slicing parts of the fish? Well, what I do, like I said, I slice it to the bone. And when I go through the seasoning process, and ultimately into the frying process, all the grease gets inside all the meat, right? All the seasoning gets inside the meat. Because if you ever notice when you fry, particularly catfish, if you fry catfish and you don't make these slices in there, your fish comes out puffy towards the middle. The skin is not as crisp as it would be on the tail and the front of the fish. So it's just something, whenever you fry any type of fish, particularly a thick fish like catfish, always make sure you have your slices slice them to the bone. So our next process is gonna be the seasoning process. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the seasoning phase of seasoning our catfish. First up, Old Bay Seafood Seasoning, lemon and pepper, love it. Cajun Seasoning by McCormick. Garlic Salt Seasoning by Lowry's. Kroger Brand Sea Salt. Smoked. McCormick chili powder. McCormick garlic and herb. Cornmeal by Quaker. That's old school right there. Last but not least, one of my favorites, Louisiana seasoned fish mix. Let's go ahead and get to season. So let's go ahead and get started with the seasoning. Old Bay lemon pepper, just a little bit, not too much. You wanna get the party started, right? Next up is the Cajon. Nice, even coats. Make sure you flip the wrist. Remember, that was an old song, flip the wrist, right? Garlic salt. Not too much, just a little bit. Now what's happening, you're getting all these flavors inside the slices that we made, right? Smoked sea salt. There we go, look at that. It's gonna give it a nice smoke taste, especially when you get ready to fry it. Chili powder. Again, you wanna flip the wrist. Nice, even coats. Not too much, just a little bit. And we wanna use some of our garlic herb. Just add a little flavor. Now, we'll repeat the same thing. I'm gonna flip it over and repeat the seasoning. So now what I'm doing now is placing the fish inside of this Rubbermaid container. You know, back in the day, the elders, they used those um, paper bags and plastic bags. Don't use those, folks. Not good. Now, you may say, hey, Mr. Anderson, what's happening next? Well, next thing I wanna do, I wanna add cornmeal. Now, what I like to do with the cornmeal, I like to keep it, keep it covered 
the whole thing, cover all the fish, use some of this lemon. And I place this Louisiana in here and I cover all of it. Every last piece of this fish is covered, it's smothered. You can't find it, it's hidden everywhere. So once I do this, now take the lid, make sure it's secure, because once you get to shaking, the meal is everywhere and you shake it. You hear that? That's the shake of greatness. That's the sound of greatness. That means great things are about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. You shake it, you can make a song of it. You can do whatever you want. Now, you look at it, you may say, hey, this is pretty good, Mr. Anderson. But wait, there's more. I like to add additional cornmeal to it. I like the catfish nice and crispy. Add some more cornmeal. We'll add some more to Louisiana. We drowned it, man. Hey, picture this as a lake or ocean. We drowning the fish. Ain't no lifeguards out here, baby. So again, now, before I do that, let me add a little bit more lemon pepper. Again, this is personal choice. Add a little bit more Cajun. Now, again, make sure the lid is secure, like so. One day, you shake it. Next up, the frying process. Right, it's cooking time now, right? So let's shake it up again just to make sure we're good to go. It's all coated nice and evenly. Let's take the catfish, right? The deep fryer is already set for 375 degrees. Let's place these jokers in. Head first. Let's place the second one in. Foot the head. Just like when you're sleeping in the tent. Party's getting started. Next up will be the taste test. Yeah! Fry, 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 fry. All right, y'all, the fish is done. Let's go ahead and take these suckers out. One by one. Look at that. Nice and crispy. Make sure you turn off your deep fryer. Five pieces of catfish right you see the slits in here the slices we made the seasoning it's all ingrained in there everything is integrated consolidated and uh pretty soon i'm gonna put some hot sauce on this to make it validated all right there you have it fried catfish with an added bonus i made some grits with it as well a lot of the southerners the down south folks will say hey this is the breakfast of champions now louisiana hot sauce you cannot eat catfish or grits without Louisiana hot sauce. Look at that crispness. Look at that. Look at that smoke coming from that. With hot sauce, baby. Look at this. Let's do a taste test. Mmm. Good to go. Fried catfish and with a bonus. Grits and hot sauce, baby. Mmm. Mmm. I think it's time for now. Stay tuned, stay locked. Thank you for coming to Doc Nomad Productions. Be blessed, have a blessed day. Continue to be safe. Godspeed. Until we meet again, trust and believe.